Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler video series reviews I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items, I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I just got through reviewing a snack-flavored snack, and now I'm reviewing a candy flavored energy drink so we're just branding on top of branding being presented by brandon but anyway folks it's super simple format i'm gonna go over there i'm gonna try out food and or drink items for you whilst i'm doing so i'm gonna yammer on about it for a bit whilst i'm doing all that i'm inside my truck and whilst i'm doing all that folks i'm wearing grody work clothes typically when i'm inside the truck and i'm wearing grody work clothes that means it's on my way home from work i found some shit to review for you that is definitely the case today. Uh, I went over there, got off of work, was originally planning to go to Walmart to go over there and grab some supplies, but I got to go out later on, either today or tomorrow anyway, so I just didn't, I just didn't want to go through all the stuff. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go over there. Uh, you know, I'm going to just hit up the Walgreens, right? So I decided I'm going to go to the Walgreens. And found some stuff to review at the Walgreens. I just got through reviewing. I've got the wrapper for it. I just got through reviewing a, boom, Fritos flavored Jack Link's meat stick. That's what I was talking about. And I figured, what the hell, man? I, you know, I could use some energy. I got to stay up because I got stuff I got to do. So I'm going to review. What is it, folks? Boom! It is the... C4 energy drink, but not just anyone. It is the pink strawberry, or um, yeah, pink strawberry starburst flavored C4 energy drink. Can we get a thing? Is it going to be better over here? Maybe. Kind of. Ha 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 Sure. So yeah, man, I think I've reviewed a few things from C4. They're kind of fine. They're not like my favorite energy drink, but they're, I don't have any huge issues with them. I do, however really like the pink starburst it's like probably my favorite out of all of them so i think i reviewed the fruit punch one like the red one so i was like okay let's give this a go now it is zero sugar so i'm like okay it's also enhanced endurance it's a certified sport 200 milligrams of caffeine i do appreciate that they're very clear on that zero artificial color zero sugar all that good stuff Explosive energy you can feel. I remember when, like, C4 was, like, a thing that you would only find really sporadically. And now it is pretty much just everywhere. So, yeah, good on them. Is that a thing? No, okay, that was just a thing. Anyway, let's try some Starburst-flavored energy drink stuff. I'm getting kind of a strawberry thing from the smell, but I don't know that I'm going to get like a Starburst thing. But like, uh, <coughs> oh, someone down the wrong tube. Um, okay. So, yes and no on my smell assessment. There is a little bit of a Starburst flavor to it. There is a little bit. Kind of at the very beginning. You do get kind of like a pink sort of Starburst flavor. <coughs> However, very quickly, that kind of falls back and it becomes more of a stronger just strawberry flavor. And less Starburst strawberry. You know, it becomes less about the candy and more about just like the strawberry flavor. Which isn't terrible. Like, it's actually pretty good strawberry flavor. I appreciate that they didn't go tart with it, especially with it being an energy drink. A lot of energy drinks just use tartness as a way to cover up, you know, their other sucky flavors. Um, I'll say this right now. The zero sugar aspect, while not hugely abrasive, is very evident. And I've mentioned this in plenty of stuff where I've reviewed zero sugar stuff and I've reviewed a lot of it because there's a lot of stuff these days when it comes to like zero sugar stuff we are getting better and better at masking that flavor 
and certain energy drinks and like certain products have gotten really good at it. And I think in the next like five years ish or so, maybe 10, we will probably have zero sugar products that more or less taste identical to, you know, their sugary counterparts. Um, we're not quite there yet. And this definitely, yeah, you, you can taste the zero sugar. And it's not like it's just a little bit of like an offbeat thing at the end. Because like some, some drinks and some like products, they're good about it. And then you'll kind of get to the end and you'll get like a little flicker of it. And you'll be like, eh, okay. <coughs> this runs through it the entire time you're drinking it for the most part. You do, when you do get the bigger burst of the strawberry flavor, it kind of diminishes. You, it's not as evident. But unfortunately, that burst does not last for that long. You know, what with it being the star burst and all. So, yeah. Yeah. It's just underlying throughout the entire thing. And it's not pleasant. It's not a... I don't think any zero sugar flavor is a good zero sugar flavor. This one isn't the worst I've had. I've definitely had way worse. But it is... I've had way better, too. So, um... Yeah, I'm kind of mixed on this one. I'm just going to say flat out, I think if it had sugar, it would have been perfectly fine. It actually would have been probably really nice. The zero sugar definitely takes away from it, but I like the overall of it. I appreciate... I would have liked a little bit more Starburst candy flavor, but I do appreciate what they did with it. You get a little bit of sort of the candy flavor where it's a little bit sweeter. You know, again, it has more of that candy aspect. Then you get that bigger hit of the strawberry. You get that burst of strawberry. So I'll, I'll give them that. I actually think that's pretty clever. And both aspects of it taste nice. Again, I would have liked more of the candy flavor. Excuse me. Just to have it feel a little bit more authentic to its namesake. But strawberry flavor they use is nice. It's, you know, a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity. But it's not overly sweet. It's not like tart or anything like that. Again, the, the, this is one of these instances where the biggest point of contention that it has is the zero sugar. Because it, it cuts through it the entire time, and it's just this lingering... It just keeps it from really reaching its full potential. Um, and it's kind of a shame, because again, I think every pretty much everything else about it is really nice. Yeah, it's just got that zero sugar funk to it that I just, yeah... Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I mean, if they ever come out with a yes, it has sugar version, sure, I absolutely will. But as is, maybe and sort of, I like what they did with it, you know? Like, I genuinely like what they did with it. I think it's, it, it's nice in its own way. And the zero sugar aspect, while it definitely diminishes the overall experience, it isn't a full-on game breaker. Maybe every now and again I might get this one again, but it would never be... That zero sugar just hits too hard with it, you know? So it's... I think if it had the sugar, or at the very least if it, you know, was able to avoid that zero sugar aspect, um, I, I could actually be see it being an energy drink that I picked up, you know... Not all the time or anything, but it would be on my radar. As is, it's like, every now and again, maybe Morbid Curiosity would get the better of me. That would be more along the lines. If I'm recommending it, like, it's kind of cool, and, like, I kind of like what they did with it. So, ugh. But at the same time, it's like, it really comes down to, are you cool with the zero sugar thing? Because, you know, some people I know like zero sugar stuff. You know, they just, that's their thing. Um, if that's the case, you might be perfectly fine with this. But if you're like me, where you really are kind of sensitive to the zero sugar flavor and it's not your thing, it, it might not be worth it. It's just, it's good. Again, I think if it just, if they were just like, fuck it, just have a full sugar version, I think it'd be really nice. But anyway. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monumental rest of the month. Spendous rest of your folks. Go over there and have yourselves a truly whatever flavor of Starburst is your favorite tastic rest of your life. For me, like I said, it's it's probably the pink ones. Pink or red. 
pink or red, but I'm going to go with pink. If I'm just, I'm going to go with pink. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. Try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit. And, you know, sometimes we just have to deal, folks. That just happens. You know, I mean, you can ask just pretty much anybody who knows me. I try to be a pretty stress-free guy, man. I, you know, people are like, oh, Brandon, you're always so chill. It's like, yeah, because I try to stay out of the shit, man. I just try to do my thing. But it doesn't matter. You're going to, I don't care who you are, you're going to get hit with stuff periodically. And when you do, you know, you can get upset about it, and you can be like, burr, 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 burr. But take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe your favorite Starburst is the worst Starburst, which is the yellow Starburst. It just, it's, it's objectively the worst one. <laughs> but maybe it's your personal favorite one. And maybe you're over there and you're like, hey, C4, where's the yellow Starburst flavor energy drink? And the C4 people will be like, well, like, only three people would buy that because it's the worst Starburst flavor. And it tastes like fucking, like, you know, dish soap. And it's just, it's not good. And then you're over there, you're like, look, it's not, it does not taste like dish soap. And I'll prove it. I'll go over there and I'll try some and I'll try some dish soap. And then you try it and you try some dish soap. And you're like, yeah, okay, it does kind of taste like dish soap. But you should still have one available. And while I might disagree with your personal favorite flavor of Starburst, will 100% agree that you have every right to have a crappy zero-sugar version from C4. I will fight for your right for you to have that. Or conversely, maybe like a better flavor of Starburst. I'm just saying. Bye.